Alrighty then, let's get this going. First ever Nuzlocke, so this should be entertaining, right? And just to make it even better, I decided to go with a slight variation on the normal Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. Do I have to watch this? Okay. The land of not Pokemon, you mean? Blah, blah, blah. I ought to really speed this up, right? Oh, I can't without having directly having it up. Okay. We'll see if he ever watches this. For this for this one, this is gonna be what it's called, why not? Yeah, that's who it is. Moonlit. Cool, I did hit record, not stream. Otherwise this could be hilarious because he could have just jumped in, then that would have been hilarious. World of dreams and adventures where Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Uh, I rem vaguely remember normally there's an item in your PC, right? Sweet. Alright, so for this, I'm not allowed to use items in battle, but I'm going to allow myself to use items outside of battle. That being only like heals and restoring like status effects and stuff all right let's try not to speed this up too much mainly because otherwise I've got alt tab to something at the moment to do it and as much as I do love my doing the boosted speed run on Final Fantasy 7 sometimes movement speed just isn't isn't the way you know it's boosting everything says me who's like third place trying to push for world record on that moonlit let me think oh that's right i told you to come here draxus blah 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 inside these balls there is a pokemon it's not a pokemon it's uh, not a pokemon at all i believe uh, let's have a look illusionist no no, no, no. I'm pretty sure it's the middle one. Yeah. I had, a, I had a feeling it would go in this order. I mean, I have seen a couple of... Well, the only video I've seen of this was an older version of this. Do I want to give a nickname to Paladin of White Dragon? Yes, yes I do. What do I want to call you? Uh, what did I set buttons to? <laughs> space for
I can't think of names to save my life. Blah 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 blah. This will be really bad if, like, could you imagine if, like, the very first fight I do... I, I haven't played an uh, old-school Pokemon game in freaking ages. So, um... Starting off with this instead of actual Pokemon is going to be entertaining. First time playing a Pokemon game for a very long time since... I think the most recent one we played is Pokemon Coliseum, which is, yeah... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I know how, I know how battles work. Don't you dare kill me! All right, I should be fine. I apparently get given a berry from the start. That's nice. Can you hear? I don't know if you can hear it through the microphone. <laughs> the good old uh, mashing the button like I'm fucking speed running. You win! Yay! That would have been a very, very quick freaking start if I'd lost there. I'm not sure it's even possible to lose there anymore. On the original Pokemon Red and Blue and stuff, you could, but um, between this being slightly altered... Wait, do I need to speak to the old man about... Nah, i just go and get him his parcel now, right? Am I allowed to nick the world map? Yeah, this would be... Alright, I'm not allowed the map. Okay, this would be useful. You're not allowed it though, unless I'm only allowed to get it after. Oh, don't do this. Look, look, I copied what it said on one of those trainer tip signs. Press start to open the menu. Signs are useful. Well, yeah, I didn't totally didn't know. Oi, I said left. Alright, let's use D-pad managed to bind this to my controller which is going to be both useful and difficult at the same time. Alright, I'm not counting my encounters until I am able to get Pokeballs. Unless I have Pokeballs from the start, which I don't think I do. Just double check. No. Oh. But then again, actually, is that the only... Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you don't. Pokemon I'm allowed to catch don't start until I get to the point where I have Pokeballs. From memory, it's something like level 14 I have to stay below at the moment. Oh yay, Rage. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but... Oh, come on. I mean, yeah, great. I get to see what the encounters are here a bit before I get to the point. I mean, it doesn't matter, because whatever I get, I get. But, you know, at least I get to see all of what I get the choice of. I've got to be careful, though, because... I'm not sure how many trainer battles I have to do, and if I end up over level because of them, that's me going to have to restart or use other Pokemon other than the Pokemon in my party. Which probably wouldn't work either, but you know. Okay. When can I 
I get Pokeballs? I don't remember. I think it's after... We'll have to work it out. Because I swear I should get some at some point on these ones early on. Like, I know that on the original ones you didn't get Pokeballs until... Um... Awesome. I don't remember pressing A on that for you to tell me that, but thank you. Oh, Draxus, blah, blah, blah. You must be talented. What's that? You have something for me? Draxus delivered a parcel. Yay, I'm UPS. Nah, I'm better than UPS. I actually delivered the parcel and it probably wasn't broken or anything. I almost forgot. What did you call for? All right, yeah. This is my invention, the Pokédex, yeah. Look at that, right? It's not really a Pokédex, because it keeps track of dual monsters, but we'll go with that. Five Pokéballs, okay. I see, alright, I can't get the town map until this point. I swear one of you gives an item or something. No, I don't want to talk to you again. Turns out I didn't really want to talk to you the first time. Really only get given five. That's that's disappointing. Can I buy them at the first town? Uh, it doesn't matter because I haven't got enough money really. I don't know why I get the map. I don't really need it. All right. What are we getting? Whenever we get it. There we go. A Karibo! Critical hit. Could you imagine if you killed my first one? I would not have been happy, but fair enough. That should now make him nice and easy to catch. The fact that I only have five Pokeballs is a little less daunting now. Just go in your new home and stay in there. Karibo was caught. Always remain loyal to its owner. Ah, oh, isn't that sweet? Doki onwards. Oh wow, I didn't think I'd get all the way up through there without another encounter there. I mean, as this is my very first Nuzlocke on a Pokemon game, I am 
not probably going to be as hardcore on myself as uh, a lot of people would be, especially considering this is the first time coming back to a Pokemon game in a very long time for me. I might get in trouble for nicking images off like on the thing to stick on there, but you know. They're available on Google Images and Wikipedia and everywhere, so hopefully I won't. Right, let's heal up there. Am I allowed to buy Pokeballs yet? Or do I have to wait until the next town over and hope that I just don't fap up catching one of the ones between here and there? Oh, thank goodness for that. How many am I allowed to buy? Let's see. Let's go with 10. Two extra potions, so I might not have to come back to a Pokey Center, as well as I'll say two antidotes, and the last bit can just go on a Paralyze Heal. I mean, who knows? I might not need these, but you know, just so I might not have to come back to a Pokemon Center at some point. I'm not allowed to use them in battle, but I'll use them outside battle. No. Is there anything else I can do? No, see ya. The thing I don't know is whether... Because I know you can get any, you can catch Pokemon over here. But I'm not sure whether it's one of those sort of... If I wait until later on and use a repel and go further round, whether you can get something better further closer to actual you know what I mean I will fight we'll just go with it what am I getting ah Celtic Guardian it's pretty much pretty one of the better options I could have got here can I just he's level 2 you're weak to begin with oh come on man don't be like that. I mean, it's nice to know you've got a bit of fight in you, but just stay in your new home. It's worth it. Right, What? Ah, oh, there we go. I forgot to... Oh, sweet. We get to choose what type of which frame we've got. I will stick to the... I ain't that worried about that. If I did need to change the settings for battle. Literally didn't matter until now, but... Oh, I didn't get that item. Oh, I'll get it another time. Oh no, I just lost a shadow duel and I'm about to get sucked into the shadow realm. I forgot about this. It's the joy of 
been a while since I watched someone play this. And even then, the version I watched them playing and think is an older version of this. <laughs> Please fulfill my dream and complete the Pokédex. But how how can you be a wanting to fill the Pokédex unless you've been like sent through time or something? Because the Pokédex has apparently only just been invented, even though it got invented like millions of times, including pretty much being invented in that Pokémon Legends Arceus, which is set like this is Route Two, isn't it? See, this is why I want it. This is why I get the map. Oh, do I really have to do it from here to do it? Alright, so that's route 22 there. We've got route 1 there. We're now on route... Yeah. Everything's route 2 now from here until other than Viridian Forest. I mean... Do you count that as, like, because technically Viridian Forest is still Route 2, and you're allowed to count something there. So I don't know. Strange things, I don't totally know about whether you're allowed or not allowed. I didn't heal after catching my Celtic Guardian, did I? I am, oh yeah, I didn't injure him to begin with, so it doesn't matter. And I keep using the analog stick on this controller and it doesn't work well. Alright, what are we getting here? Oh man, a petite moth, really? I, I can get that in the next area. I mean, I guess it means if I encounter one of these in the forest now, I don't have... I won't have to catch it. But it's just a little bit like, why? I don't, I don't want this. I'll work out whether I'll end up trading him or whether he'll be fodder or something. It all depends on how much I'm willing to put effort into training up my stuff. I mean, most of the training I'll end up, like, skipping through as such, you know what I mean? Like, you won't, I won't make you all watch that. Just have to update you at the end of it as to anyone who dives or anything, alright. Earthworm J, because you can't put Earthworm Jim in. I don't know. I don't know why I felt like calling him that. But that's that's now officially his name. So that's what. Uh, I can't be bothered to go and actually rest before going in. here. we'll get our encounter in here, and then we'll rest everyone. And depending whether, to, mm, yeah, we'll train up a little bit maybe. I don't know because uh, I've got two total antidotes. So. We'll see how that goes. I believe it's level 14 is my limit before entering the battle with the actual gym leader. Alright, let's go to my favourite patch of grass. It's not other people's favourite patch of grass in this, but it's my favourite patch of grass for catching stuff normally. Alright, well, luckily I've already got one of you, so I don't have to catch you. We'll kill you for EXP.
Come on. Is there a button to make you run faster on this one? No. Is that really all you're going to give me, Hit Pine? I'll try a different patch of grass. Rest up. Where are you? Alright, that mutes it technically while I'm doing this, but... This is why I don't like using the speed boost thing, because I'm rubbish with movement. I need to maybe reduce how much the speed boosts it by. Because I, I can't play it like that. <laughs> I just want to get my encounter here before I then do a little bit of training to get all of my Pokemon up to probably about I'm going to say like level 9, then go through the forest. 9 and go through the forest, 8 go through the forest, probably 8. Get them all up to level 8, so they're all the same level. I mean, my one of my guys is about to level up to that now. And then I just need to get the other two up to it along different spots here. Alright. That, that patch of grass was bad. Let's try the patch of grass over here instead, then. You'll be good to me, right? Oh, there's an item here. Oh, a potion. Thank you. Actually, from memory, there's another item. Alright, well, I haven't got one of you, so... I have to catch you. Defense mode! Sorry, you can't you can't switch yourself to defense mode like that. Oh no. Fine, fine, fine. Um if that's how we're going with this, why is it it's special defense shouldn't matter for me scratching it though? That was a critical hit. Sod it, let's just toss a ball at it. Take it to the face. Yay, we got a man eater bug. All right. We shall go with buttons each time. My lore. Bug. But, alright, that's not the plan. Uh, it was meant to be a G there. Minor bug. Cool. How to, I might as well do Let's get you your level here quickly, Paladin. The main reason I'm probably going to pause the recordings and stuff while I'm quickly doing my training is because it then allows me to quickly get up and go make a drink and stuff instead of doing it all in one go. 
I can break this up all across me day playing along. There we go, level 8 for him, which is how level high I'm going to get them all before I then come in here and walk through and do the trainers and, um, yeah, everything else. Oh, I haven't updated me party list yet. I normally do that as I catch them. You probably noticed that because I think on my last one I said uh, I was just finishing saying a word as I hit pause to then add the next one to the thing there. Alright. could just switch train them through the trainers up ahead, but I'd rather not do it that way. It's just, I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather go in slightly under the level I need to be and then do the trainers in the forest and then hopefully that gets me up to, it's either 13 or 14 or something I need for this first one. I think it's 14. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And then I'd have to start again if I go 14 it turns out it's 13 but you know it is where it is yeah we shall at least update the pokey list there so we've now got paladin a white dragon karibo petite moth and manny a bug all right paladin's at level eight at the moment and the other three are whatever they are with manny i think being the highest at level five out of them but yeah we're gonna hopefully quickly boost those up a little bit and yeah hopefully yeah hopefully we're not going to miss any major evolutions getting them to level eight so hopefully you guys aren't going to miss much with me doing that and we shall be back soon by soon i mean for you guys like it won't even seem like it's like anything's happened <laughs> And yes, before before getting to the training, I did realise that I did miss one of the Pokemon, or Dual Monsters out on my list there. The one which I even just realised I don't even know what that spelling is. I hope that, I, I bet someone had some sort of, uh, some sort of a uh, moment looking at that. Okay, well that's the training done. And we did slightly more training than planned, but not by much. Um, I had to wait a moment before I could carry on, because I was waiting on a buddy of mine a moment. But yeah, as a result, we ended up getting. Oh yeah, and I apologise. I lied. There was there was actually two evolutions while we were away. Uh, Earthworm Jim has. Evolved from his petite moth into larvae moth at level 8. And then because I decided to boost some of them an extra bit to level 10 while I was waiting to be able to carry on, um, we ended up with um, 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 him evolving into Cocoon of Evolution as well. Uh, we've also got Kupo and Minorbug up to level 10. And we've left Grencloud and Bur Burster to go through the forest with. I think the first gym's like 12 or 13 or something. 12 or 13. But whatever happens, I know he's like dinosaurs or something. Which is ground type, I think. Which, I mean... I've got a couple of Pokemon with flying type moves already, so I'd imagine that going into it I should be pretty good. No, oh, this is why I should use analog stick. I apologise for that, people. Alright, let's do this. When I get to the other side, I'll know whether I get to boost the Pokemon up the lot. Alright, you don't fight. 
buying some antidotes before going well I've only got I've only got two antidotes uh, yeah come on then we'll fight ye parasite caterpillar I'm guessing I don't don't Oh no, don't be doing that. I'm hoping that Burster learns a flying type move soon. Oh, come on. Good. I have got a paralyze heal if it comes to it. I'm not allowed to use it in the battle, so I'd have to... Oh, you're making me proper slow now. Wait, is it giving me the option to switch? Because it shouldn't be giving me the option to switch between battle. It's, it's set to set. i double check the settings in a minute to make sure, but it should be set to set. Why did I go through the grass? I should have just gone round. No, it matters because I did make sure that I wasn't exactly over leveled and that I was going through this. Still, like, actually able to fight stuff as I go without worrying. I mean, I've actually got to probably have to boost up a couple of my 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 mons. There we go. My mons on the other side. I mean, if people would rather see me stream doing this, I have to say I'm, I'm just a little bit wary about streaming emulator stuff because I'm not sure where I stand on that. and then we'll do the trainer battle here, why not? poisoning me actually I think because I'm paralyzed I can't be poisoned at the moment so that that might be a blessing in itself it's not a bad strat to go for you know a bit like the old Final Fantasy 11 put your I mean, poison yourself so you can't be put to sleep Ah, oh, nice we like a flying move Yay, we got our super first super effective to use against this lot now. I believe it should be super effective against this gym we're coming up against as well. I'm not doing this blind blind. It's been a bit since I watched. But at the same time, I have seen some stuff. But yeah, it's 
back before this version of the game. Contact Professor out via a PC to get your Pokedex evaluated. Do I have to? I'd rather not. Yay, a free antidote. As a Final Fantasy player, I should know better than to take more steps than necessary through grass. Alright, Burst is getting to the point where I don't really want him getting much higher yet. In case... Oh, paralyzed and can't move. That's the first. He's been resisting it all along so far. I guess that paralysis is really starting to sink in now. Let him get a little bit more. Wait, do I want to go down? I went the wrong way, didn't I? How 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 can I even pretend like uh, I know Pokemon at all? What level are you eleven? All right, we'll let you get like up to level twelve. I may or may not just get the wiki up and double check the levels I'm allowed to get up to. But we'll see. We'll go, go from what I know for now and we'll go from there. Oi, don't don't give in to the paralyze. It's still better than being poisoned or anything, but still. I'm guessing burst is gonna evolve at some point in the near future. Oh, I didn't do the I might have to go back. I haven't done one of the rival battles yet. This is the only problem with being paralysed though. They they always outspeed you while you're paralysed. So I can't be poisoned at the moment, but I'm pretty much always going to be going second and it's a significant chance that I won't even land a hit. And you'll be like, oh I'm paralysed. If I was playing Pokemon Red at the moment, I'd like to be poisoned at this point though. Because this guy here, if you allow yourself to die by poison at the same time as triggering his thing, you you can trigger the what what's basically the Mew glitch early on. That's something I'm planning on doing possibly a Nuzlocke run of at some point. It's Pokemon Red with something entwined with it where I'm only allowed to catch one certain Pokemon without using the glitch and then everything after that I'm only allowed to catch Pokemon in sort of a similar way but using that method. level 12. Alright, we're going to have to probably boost the other ones of my Pokemons up a little bit just on the other side of Viridian Forest anyway then. Oops, I should have changed who's out front. Never mind. Maybe I should have just boosted everyone else up to level 10 or more. Because I'm going to have to quickly boost them up the last the other two levels to catch him up anyway. And this guy's got got four levels at the moment.
Damn, you are slow, freaking guardian man, aren't you? Alright, we're at Pewter City. That's the other thing, I don't know where all the hidden items are, which lots of people pick up as they go along. So I'm gonna I'm gonna miss so many of those. I really ought to start talking to more NPCs as I go along as well, because I reckon some of them are probably gonna Oh, blimey. Quit edit. Yeah. Yep. Yep, I am. Trading Pokemon with that kid there. I had two petite moths, so I figured I might as well trade one. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. I'm going to allow myself to buy Pokemon and do the NPC trades on this as well. I really want a baby dragon, so I'm trading my petite moth for one. But wait, I'm trading Pokemon with that kid there. I had two petite moths, so I thought I might as well... So wait, has he given you a petite moth to trade with someone else? Or have you both just got confused here and both traded each other a petite moth? I haven't finished clearing the last one. Konami! You love your Celtic Guardian. Reminds you of Zelda. Yes. Yes, I think... I bet, I bet everyone calls their Celtic Guardian Link. I bet they do. Alright. I've rested my mons. Let's see. Pokemon. I'll do this next bit on here. Unlike last time. might have to switch you a little to do it. We'll see. What level are they down here? The game will go silent because I tend to speed this up and I don't like the music playing in the background when it's in three times speed at times. Oh blimey, these are weak as hell. Just don't get too cocky because they're weak as hell though. Bad things happen that way. I basically just sit here spamming A while staring at my Mon's HP. And hope for the best. Alright, he's level 9. I want to keep my party somewhat balanced. Because the more balanced I keep their levels now, the less difficult it's going to be later on. And I'm going to have to accept that one of them, even though I train it up, is potentially going to end up fodder to death because of, yeah, just happening to, you know need to trade one out to end something and be able to get a clean trade in but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it I'm hoping having them nearer balanced levels to begin with will potentially mean we, we, we encounter that problem slightly less I just have to be careful not to go into things too heavily under leveled because if I'm heavily, heavily under leveled, that's when I'm probably gonna really feel it. I'm out of I'm out of PP for that. Alright, bullet seed. Alright, that's as much as I can get you until we go back to town then. Earthworm Jim. Look, it's your little brother. You used to be one of those. Do you remember? I remember. I 
I really shouldn't be using this. Luckily, this thing doesn't learn um, Gust until quite a high level. So he hasn't got anything that's super effective against me at this point. Because otherwise, him being a flying type could seriously play with my day of leveling up this guy a little bit. If this does take a while, I might end up um, just quickly doing some of this off because I'm not sure how much people really want to watch. But I guess you can just fast forward. Maybe I should go back and do the um, Ujima flip battle. Rival battle. This is the good thing about this, so even though this can be not very effective because of its typing, it's still going to probably recover me more than I am losing at this point, just to give me a little bit longer of using him. Which is always nice. Um, now I can go back to using the remaining PP points of Tackle. We'll probably do a Leech Life here because this side can take it. Try and drag out how many levels I can get quickly on this guy before I have to. Oh, nice crit hit. Bit of a waste there, but. Alright, I'm going to have to switch which one I'm leveling for a moment because he's only got one tackle left and then four leech lives. One, two, and with the third one, it should be dead. There we go. No, you're already done. Come on, Kupo. I forgot that's why I got rid of for Gust. I should have got rid of one of the others, but part of me likes... The idea of being able to boost myself up and put enemies to sleep. But at the same time, I have mixed feelings on that. Because without a move to heal him as well, it's a little bit difficult. So I'd have to probably have... Well, once I get leftovers or something, it'd probably be good. Oh yeah, grass type, isn't he? So that's probably... Gust's probably literally super effective against everything here. All right. I'm pretty sure I can get up to level 13. I think 13 is the level. I'm just putting a lot of faith in it. Because if it's not that high. And I get this guy to it. Then technically I've broken the rules. And need to start again. But then again. It's only if I use him in the battle I guess. Oh, we'll see. All right, we'll leave you there for now. I've used all yours. Because this is Route 2 still, isn't it, here? Even if it's not, I've wasted my encounter here if it isn't. Yeah, it is Route 2 still here, so yeah, I couldn't get another one here. I've already got a Route 2. I don't care about like anything that's like you catch it in a specific place. Like, is in, like, yeah, you know, like the legendaries and stuff and whatever, ever. I mean, like, like the Electro type things you can start fights with on the ground and stuff in places like all of those which are like fixed things i'm not going to count as things i can catch those freely if i want to i try to think of anything else early on 
but I guess we'll we'll get to those as we as we get to them. Probably the easiest way to uh go forward with that. I just want I thought I'd do this little blitz record in a minute just because people did miss a couple of evolutions last time. I'm not sure whether there's gonna be an evolution at the moment while I'm doing this or not. Because I was wrong last time thinking there wasn't gonna be. For all I know, Manny, a bug could freaking evolve into something low level and I don't know. Blitz and blitz. We're almost there. We're pretty much at a point where I'm almost happy with just going in anyway. We're just good. Oh, you're out of things for that. What's that do? I don't know. Did that? Does that injure myself as well? I might have to double check that. Because I might have just risk killing myself then. Uh, details, struggle bug. The user attacks the foe while resisting. Target special attack is reduced. Fair enough. So no, it's not like struggle type stuff where sometimes it can result in you taking damage from it as well. Cause that would be bad. Could you imagine it's like, oh, recoil. Just drop dead from it. It's the sort of thing I'd end up doing, completely like oblivious. Oh, CXP's no good. I really ought to go back to the other bit, but I've boosted myself too much now. I've committed to this now. Alright, 12. Alright, he doesn't evolve at 12. I thought he might for a bit just because of. I think my Celtic Guardian's ability says he's stronger or something in daylight. So I'm guessing while I'm outside during daytime, which is like always. So basically if I'm outdoors or, or maybe it's just to do with if you use the ability for sunshine and stuff. Because that's where it is in the later games, isn't it? All right. One more level to go for you. And then one more level to go for good old Earthworm Jim. Gren Cloud, which should have been Green Cloud, but I don't know why I, I apparently couldn't spell today. I'll put that down to the fact that I hadn't drunk this magical stuff called coffee before then. Making that look difficult one-handed there. Alright, we're almost there. Oh, don't tell me you're out of PP for it, no. It would have just not let me use it if that was the case. We'll wait for that other coffee to kick in. But yeah, this will be... The first episode is going to go up to... Um, 
the end of this gym. So we'll quickly get the last level here and then we're gonna go give the gym a go. This is giving me like a level to play with basically with um if I level up a bit while doing the first battle. If I if I level over the level during the actual fight with the gym leader himself, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm the correct level going into the fight. Okay. We're allowed to catch this. That's a shiny. That's a fucking shiny. Kupo, Kupo, Kupo. Give me a second, just double check, double check. That's what he normally looks like. All right, he's asleep. We got ourselves a shiny. Ah, wrong button. Sorry, I need to. I can't fit the whole thing in. Fine, you're still getting called it now, though. Shiny Knight. Oh, no. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go switch that now. That's more training, but we'll... I'll... I'll yeah. No, 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 no. I want to. Someone's PC. Withdraw Pokemon. All right. Deposit Pokemon. I want to put. Bye bye, Celtic Guardian. All right. Box one will be my usual box for that. The last box will be. Wait. There we go. Yes. Oh, I could have both of them in my party for now. Oh, look at that, mate. Look, we got a shiny. I can't believe that. I've never got a shiny in any Pokemon game. The first one I see it on is a fucking ROM hack. I think, yeah, that's good. All right. We'll boost him up in a minute. Are the others all at level? Nah, Cocoon needs a tiny bit more. Do you know what? We'll keep him with us for now until, you know, there's no point having an empty slot in my party. I won't, I won't add a second Celtic Guardian thing to the thing there, but yeah, because he's, he's not going to be in here for long, I don't think. Just until the end of this episode and we get another encounter and we can switch him with something. And I can quickly then, at the end of the episode, do the quick levelling and stuff as well. And we'll just have... 
Mr. Shiny in the party a bit. We'll, we'll get him a couple of quick levels just to make sure he doesn't die on us if I do have to send him out for any reason right at the end. But if, if that happens, then we probably lost anyway. We probably lost anyway at that point, so... Because I'm pretty sure I should be able to win with just... Kupo and frickin' Burster at the moment. Come on, just give me... Give me my level up. I know you're weak. Okay, I understand. This is why I want to get to the next patch of grass to be able to level up any further after this. Alright. Level 12. That's everyone at level 12 I want at level 12, right? 12. Shiny Knight doesn't matter. Because he's getting leveled up after this gym. We've got a Shiny! All right, let's 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 open with my blue eyes for now. All right, I know I'm not allowed to restart from this point if I lose, but I'm just saving because if the game crashes or does anything buggy, I don't know how like whether there's any stability issues with this anywhere. So I will probably save here and there. Oh yeah, training over, back to normal speed. All right, we've set that up, yeah. All right. Huh. All right, let's see what sort of levels I'm dealing with with you. How many Pokemons have you got? Little D. Ah, oh, look at it. It's so smooth. So cute. Look at it. Isn't that sweet? But it's wrong. Oh, wow. Maybe I should go with a different move than this, then. Critical hit, though. Fair enough. Yeah, he's only got one level before this. So, yeah, we should still be the correct level with him going into the next one. which I think is all my moves at the moment. Never mind, he's still going to drop now. Light years isn't time, it's measures distance. Ah, oh, thanks for telling me that. I never knew. Alright, I'm going to be a wuss. I'm going to be a wuss. And we're going to go quickly heal. Having everything mapped on my controller other than being able to tell it to go into fast mode is a bit annoying at times. I might have to try and see if there's a way around that at some point. can't believe I got a shiny. That's going to keep me well chuffed for a while now. into the stone age by my dinos. Okie dokie, them wrecks. 
memory, he moans about having his red eyes stolen or something as well. But I shouldn't spam through the dialogue as much. Oh no. Why was I thinking that ground type's weak to flying? I am part dragon, so I resist most of this anyway. Oh, don't be missing. Don't be missing now. Alright, what's coming out now? A little D. Alright, we're gonna have to swap out. My my accuracy is way too low and he's now lowering another one of my stats. You. We'll go with you. If you die I've got a shiny equivalent to replace you with. Come on, go for the five. Go for the five. Yeah! All five! Super effective! Your shiny version is going to hopefully be so much stronger than you, but there's no guaranteeing that. Urube! Oh, oh, okay, he's a level higher than I thought he was going to be. So, yeah, I was well within level. Three, four, are you doing the five again? You are, I like you, you trying to prove your worth to me right now, is this what this is? Like, don't, don't replace me with that shiny one. I've been here from the start, oh, as I even survived that hit for you, I survived a crit hit just for you. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, I'm sorry though, the chances are though, you are getting replaced with either the, the Pokemon I buy from the Pokemon Center before Mount Moon, or whatever I count catch on the route between here and Mount Moon. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I just should give you the Boulder Badge. Yay, Boulder Badge! Just having the Boulder Badge makes your powerful your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables you to use the move Flash outside a battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. Yay, $2,800. Rock Tomb, awesome. Okie dokie, well let's go rest up and I think that's going to be the end of our first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Mon <laughs> Fire Red. My first Nuzlocke's going quite well so far. I haven't actually lost anyone yet. I almost did. I almost lost the less important... The less important Celtic Guardian. I can... We can pretend the, um... Look at that HP and he's like freaking levels behind. What is your stats like at your level? Let's have a look. 
Oh, blow. Yes, I know he's shiny. I know he's shiny. We just need to... All right. 11, 10. 11, 12, 10. So, I don't know. Both of them get raised speed in sunshine, so... We'll see what happens with that. That might not be great, but look at it! Look at it! Look at it! No shiny? Shiny! No shiny? Shiny! But yeah, next time you see me, we'll have this dude here up to level 12 or 14 or... Well, we're allowed to go even higher than that. Well, I'm going to try and balance everyone up to level 14, though, before the start of the next episode. And then hopefully, 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 I need to, yeah, I think, I think, I think the next gym is 22, 22, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, it might be more, I think it's 22. I think, and I thought this one was 12, so it might be 23, but I'm going to go with 22 anyway. fingers crossed that's right but yeah thank you for watching this episode we'll be back with the next episode have a good day catch you all soon whenever i find the end the recording button good day everyone <laughs>